Welcome to Zeke in Action. My name is Richard Baitlick, and I will be your host for this introductory episode on how to use Zeek and a few related tools to understand what is happening on your network. Zeek is an open source network security monitoring tool, and we'll be using the data from Zeek to try to answer questions about what is happening in specific scenarios and other events that you may encounter on your network. A good place to start if you want to know a little bit more about Zeek is simply to visit the homepage of zeek.org. From there you can get access to a wealth of information, uh, including resources such as the Zeek documentation, which is available at docs.zeek.org. Here you'll find information about what Zeek is, how to get started with it, how to take a look at the logs, what uh, many of the popular forms of the logs mean, and more useful information. To take a look at network traffic, we're going to be using a free project called Brim. Brim is available for different operating systems. There are uh, Windows packages, Linux packages, Mac OS, all of those are available. So we're going to be using uh, Brim to both generate the, the logs that we'll be taking a look at and to review those logs. So I'm going to walk through how to set up a system in order to follow along if you'd like to try to solve some of these challenges along with me. Uh, I'm using a Windows system today, so that's what I'll be downloading. So I'm going to download on Windows. It's a 300 meg download, so we'll take a look at that. And it's downloaded, so let's go ahead and install it. We're going to run it anyway. So Brim is performing its installation now. This is a cool little graphic that appears. I have to say that the first time I saw this running on my system, I wondered whether something unusual was occurring because this is not what you usually see when you're installing a Windows package, but it is just fine. So we'll go ahead and let Brim do its installation. While it's installing, I will mention that uh, Brim allows you to process both Windows, or pardon me, uh, network traffic in PCAP format, but you can also load raw Zeek logs into Brim. So if you don't have a PCAP to look at, but you do have Zeek logs that were processed by the open source Zeek software, you can simply load those into Brim. I'm going to be showing how to work with a raw PCAP because that is a sort of the least common denominator that you might find. And uh, the newer versions of Brim also include uh, an embedded Suricata engine, so they will generate uh, intrusion detection alerts, and that's helpful as well. All right, well, it looks like Brim has been installed. We're going to minimize that for now. Uh, another piece of software that we're going to install is uh, Wireshark. And I believe I may already have Wireshark installed on this system. Yes, I do. So if you don't have Wireshark installed, feel free to go to wireshark.org, download the appropriate package for your system, and get it installed. Um, one of the neat things you can do with, with Brim is pivot to packets. And if you have Wireshark installed, that's what will launch and show you uh, the traffic that's available. So having Brim installed and Wireshark installed, those are the two pieces of software we'll need in order to take a look at network traffic. If for some reason you only have access to a web browser and you don't have the ability to install software, you may want to take a look at uh, Justin Azoff's project called try.zeek.org. And what you're able to do at this site is upload a PCAP and then have try.zeek.org 
generate Zeek logs in various formats, uh, or actually not various formats, but using various versions of Zeek, which is pretty helpful if you're trying to troubleshoot differences between one version and another. Uh, we won't be using it for the exercises that I plan to do, uh, at least in the immediate future, but it is a good resource if you're trying to figure out how to take a look at Zeek logs, especially, as I said, differentiating between outputs, say, from Zeek 4.0 and an earlier version like 3.2. I'd also like to mention the source of the traffic that I'll be using when I'm analyzing uh, network traces. I'm going to be using uh, Brad Duncan's malware-traffic-analysis.net site. Uh, this is just a fantastic resource that uh, Mr. Duncan has assembled here. Not only has he provided all of this traffic, he's also provided the analysis for it. Uh, so what we'll be doing in these videos is picking out a few of the traces and we'll be answering the questions that he provides and making sense of what's happening in these, these various scenarios. With the idea being that you could solve the scenarios using the methods here uh, or use the same approaches to solve problems that you encounter in your environment. So that's it for today. Uh, we've talked about uh, a little bit about Zeek, uh, where to find Brim and Wireshark. We installed Brim so that we're ready to use it when we conduct our first uh, analysis. And we've talked about where to get access to the traces that we'll be looking at. If you have any questions, the easiest way to get a hold of people on the Zeek team is to go to uh, the Zeek Slack, and you can find that from the Zeek website and go to community and connect. And there are links there for not only Slack, but for Twitter and the mailing lists and everything. Hope you enjoyed this video today. And I look forward to talking to you in the near future with the first analysis of a packet capture provided by Mr. Duncan. Thank you.